we have our assembly all finished. We've got our water blaster. It all looks good. It all works correctly. So one of the cool things that Inventor can do is you can make this parts diagram right here. And it's very easy to do because Inventor has all these things built in. You know, people who use Inventor in the real world, they use it to create 3D files and create all these parts lists. And you can see exactly how many pieces you need of which piece. So to do that, we're going to create a drawing. So if we go to File and click on New, so remember we have Parts, Assembly, and now we have this drawing file that we're going to use. So we're going to click this third one right here, it's the one that looks different, the ANSI inches.idw. I hit Create. So when this loads up, what it's going to do is it's going to create a blank drawing. Before we get going, let's make this sheet a regular size sheet of paper. So right here under sheet one, right click it, go to edit sheet, change. So this piece of paper right here is 22 inches by 34. It's an engineering standard of size D. Let's just do a regular size sheet of paper, which if I go to size A, it's eight and a half by 11. You can change it to portrait or landscape if you want to. Hit OK. So now we have an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. This border right here, this little table down here at the bottom, we don't need those right now, so we can right click and hit delete. Right click, delete. So now we have a blank sheet of paper. We want to add our assembly onto here. So if I right click, go to base view, if I have my water blaster open, if I have the assembly file open down here at the bottom, it'll show up in this list. If you don't have it open already, just hit this little folder and find it. So I have my water blaster assembly. Now right now I'm looking straight down the barrel of my water blaster. I don't want that. I want to look at it from the side view. So the little view cube right here, just like you have it in the parts file, I can change this. I can look at it. Let's look at it from the other way. You want your paper to end up looking something like this. So you're going to adjust the size so it fits it pretty much left and right. You want the bottom half to have your whole drawing right here. So let's bring it down a little bit and change the size. You have the scale button right here. So if I make it one to one scale, that means one inch on the water blaster is one inch on the paper. This is 18 inches and this is only 11, obviously that's not going to fit. So if I did it at a 0.5 to 1, so that's still not going to fit, let's say 0.25. This part you'll have to play around. So that looks good on my drawing right here. So 0 0.5, 0 0.25 to 1 scale. All right, I'm going to hit OK. Oh, I accidentally hit that. Delete. All right, so there's my outline of the water blaster. If I want to move it, it's kind of tricky. You have to get your mouse just so you can see these little red outlines right here. And then I can move it where I want to. Now let's add also this little view right here. This little fancy looking 3D view. They call this an isometric view where you can see it at an angle. So to do that, let's also add, let's add another base view, base view, and let's hit it on the corner up here. And if I want that one in color, I've got these options right here. I can hit the shaded button right there. Hit OK. So let's throw that up in the corner. I can probably even make that a little bit bigger. Instead of one tenth, let's say one fifth. Not one, one eighth. Sure. We can change that later if we need to. Alright, so now we have two views of our water blaster. Now we want to add our parts list so we know exactly what we need. So if we go to the annotate button up at the top here, if we go over to parts list, if I click on that, uh, select view, let's click on our piece here. 
our assembly. Uh, let's hit OK. Let's see what happens. Do you wish to enable? Sure. Let's hit OK. Alright. So now I've got a box here. Put it somewhere where it's going to fit on your screen. Click it. So you notice all the pieces we had in here in our part automatically showed up here. So for example, we have one ball valve right here. This is one ball valve. We have two check valves, two caps, one T. So this should have all of your pieces right here. If you typed in a description over here, like we just typed in that 14 inch by one half inch dowel, that'll show up here. Some of them are already made there. So my 90 degree elbow is a slip and a slip fit. So this is not threaded. Whereas the female adapter right here is a slip fit on one side and the female threaded on the other side. So that's where that description and those part numbers come in handy. It also tells me how many of those I need. So now I want to label each part in here as to where it corresponds to on my parts list. So over right here, this balloon button, what I can do is I can click on it, click a piece, and I can drag a number over here. If I right click hit continue, that'll say, hey, this is part number two. Over here in my list, I go to my parts list, I have number part two, that is a ball valve. I have one of those. 